What up, everybody? Welcome back to a vintage Mox draft. You guys know the one. I'm taking this Mox Emeraldo. It's pretty easy. I, I don't even look at the pack. I don't even care. Yeah, it's like, whatever. Brain Freeze, Electromancer, Seething Song, Decent Storm Option. You got a Snapcaster. Sword, Dryad, Resto. Some decent nonsense in here. I'm gonna, I mean, yeah, we're passing Dryad, but... Uh, you ever cast a Mox Emerald before? <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take... I mean, it's gonna be Oko, right? Like, we're just taking Oko. Come on, let's be serious here. Oko, after picking a Mox Diamond? Beautiful. I mean, Mox Emerald, and then I actually... I meant Mox Emerald. And then a Mox Diamond showed up, and it was like, whoa! That's weird. I feel like we unintentionally channeled that. <laughs> Which means the channel's gonna show up in the next pack. Is it Mox Diamond or is it Opposition, guys? Oh, welcome back, Jake Arino. Guys, can one of you tell me which one it is? I don't know the pick. I think it is Mox. Oko does make greechers. I do like a good greecher. Frank Connick Disciple, well done. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Mox is pseudo power. There's a lot of times in the late game where you just can't like there's times where you just can't cast it. If you have Thank one land, you. it's always just gonna be better to like I'm gonna take Mox. I think it leaves us open for other things. Like taking Vraska. I actually like Vraska. We make a food, sack the food, make food, sack a food, make food, sack a food. CTB, why'd you say shit? I'm dumb. Oh yeah, we well no, this it's very unlikely this is gonna be a three three. Um, reason being like, I guess if you if you play it normally in the in the early game, I'm saying it's still a bad draw. I kind of like Baleful Strix here, and then hoping Vraska comes back. Oh, did you mean Mox? <laughs> I'm definitely not taking Probe. I mean, I would definitely take Belfal Strix over Vraska over Probe. I would have cards that do things. Like, this is great in Storm, but it's not... I'm taking... Or we can take Rex Age. I think Vraska's actually really good. I'm going to take the Strix. Oh, Metamorph and Muldrifter. Are you just making the same deck you beat last draft? I don't want to say anything, but yes, that's correct. Literally, everyone else said Mox felt like that kid yelling at the wrong answer in middle school. <laughs> okay, Hunter, take it easy, please. Take it easy. Is it? I think it's Metamorph. Tireless Tracker or Frosty T. Now we got birds and shapeshifters. If we feel like we can find enough creature types, Jake actually has a stip in the queue. It says. As tribal as we can. If possible, try to take cards that share creature type with another in your deck. The goal is to have several creatures that share creature types. I kind of like Frost Titan because it does leave us open to like Draft Grave Titan or Primeval Titan. Also, elves are just great for that as well. I'm going to take Riftwing Cloudskate though. I was going to take Lumbering Falls, but I think Riftwing Cloudskate is a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a banger. So, like, we could take Regrowth. We could take Trigon Predator. I kind of like Blightsteel here because if we hit a Tinker, we already have Baleful Strix, Oko, Mox Diamond, and Mox Emerald. And Metamorph. So, like, we actually have a ton of artifacts for a Tinker. Dryad comes back. That's kind of cool. Is it better than Baleful Strix? Probably because it fucking Overgrown Tomb. Probably taking the Overgrown Tomb. I love Draga Tree Speaker, but Draga Tree Speaker gets worse than a non-mono green deck. And Overrun Tomb is just a, a, a land we can fetch. Um, What did I take the Cloud Skate over? Better, what did I take this guy over? Was it was it just a land of War Elf? If it was an Elvish Mystic, yes. I, I think it's significantly better than the like one mana mono green elves. Like if it just makes green. Like this is a deck where we want blue, blue, double blue, blue, black. Try and come back. You can blame it all on me.
Uh, Search for Nara seems great. Tezzeret's cool, but I don't think we're a Tezzeret deck yet, even though we have... Oh, the Vraska came back. This deck is looking perfect Sultai right now. We'll take a Primal Command. Oh, Rar, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really, really appreciate it. Welcome, 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 McMelcom. Yeah, with M welcome McMelcom in the middle. And you're a two drop. You're a three drop. Shallow Grave? Okay. Yeah, this looks good. I I'm a fan of how this is looking so far. Tropical Island. Oh, baby. Hit me tropical one more time. That was terrible. Don't even listen to my Britney Spears, uh, you know, things. Um, we're taking tropical. Nothing else in this pack is even that good. I do like a Simic Signet. I like a Verdant Catacomb a lot. It gets tropical and overgrown. That's pretty good. Kind of wasn't keeping up with magic for the back half of the last year. Yeah, I, I, I can, I know the feeling. I mean, like, I want to be honest, magic, like, standard current magic has also not been super exciting for me because of the lack of live events. I don't know, when every, when every week there was a live event and you can watch coverage and new things change and you're watching people, like, play new technology, for some reason, it was a lot easier to get excited about that uh, when it was live than when it was... Yeah, I'm taking Vernon Catacomb. I, I'm, I can't pass a... Oh, and Breeding Pool. All right, this is looking good. Breeder. Like, for some reason, when it's live, like, I know there's, like, arena events and, like, there's mythic championships and rivals challenges and all the things. that I don't even know. I can't even keep up with them. But, um, wow. I am much more fluid at 60 frames a second. That's insane. I've never actually watched. I've never actually noticed the difference at 60 frames, but this is wild. Wow, that's crazy. That was really satisfying to watch. Wooded Foothills is also great here because it gets breeding pool over and Tropical Island. So that's pretty decent. I don't think we want double black. But um, anyway, the point I was making is that for some reason, like, it's just much easier to, like, both keep up and get excited about, um, like, live magic <laughs> um, than it is about, you know, digital magic. I don't know why. I, I couldn't even explain it to you. Bitter Blossom. I also think it has a lot to do with the fact that, like, I think organized play at that time was also significantly more uh, digestible. I think Scarab God's better than Bitter Blossom here. Hit me, Garrick, one more time. Are we a recurring nightmare deck? Hmm. I think it's, I mean, it's Tribe Elder, Garrick, or, or recurring. Our, our mana base looks great so far. All we need is a, a Bayou, a Watery, or an Underground. No, because it's not even the social... I don't even care about the social interaction. I literally don't give a shit about social interaction, to be honest with you. Um, and I'm not talking about being at live events. I'm just talking about when there were live events. It was easier to be excited about current magic, like standard, modern, whatever. No, it's definitely not show and tell. This Garrick's actually pretty good. I'll take this Garrick. Um, no. Maybe. Null Priest also seems fine. This guy's a beast. I don't know. Like, the, the thing is, there's not a ton of creatures with overlap except for, like, elves. Uh, Botanical Sanctum actually might seem better than Wall of Roots, maybe. I kind of want Botanical Sanctum. We have a lot of blue cards. I think Wall of Roots is fine, but... Please watch this clip with no sound. What spell is this guy? <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay. That's good. Wow, that's amazing. That's that's pretty good. Uh, I think we'll take Colony... <sighs> this guy's a Hydra. I mean, we have Mox Diamond, Search for Morrow, Dryad. We have several ways to get a... Yeah, I'm just going to... If I can... Oh, Goose came back? Thief of Sanity. We're taking Thief of Sanity. It's 
gotta be better. We'll take Savannah, actually, because Savannah is easy to get with both Verdant Catacombs and Wooded Foothills. And... I think I like... I think I like Whisperwood better than Ooze. I'm also gonna take Casualties here. This deck's looking sweet. This is a snake. Are you part of Glitter Motion? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this is a pack. Course of Portal, Jace, Time Twister, a Grim Monolith. I mean, I think we're taking Jace the Mind Sculptor here. Isn't it sad? No, because I don't think this is... These aren't... This, like, if you're not... We're not playing Mono Green. Like, Mono Green is the deck you want the ramp in. Because most of the ramp is literally mono green ramp. <laughs> Plus you're being rewarded for playing cards like Gaia's Cradle, uh, Crater Hoof Behemoth, things like that. But like a deck like this, like playing a Findhorn Elves on turn one doesn't help you cast this. It doesn't help you cast this. It doesn't help you cast this on, on turn two. Like it, it can maybe help you cast these if one of your green sources is also a black or blue source. So, I mean, like it, this deck really wants more ramp on turn two rather than turn one. See, Noble Hierarch I'll take because it's two of our colors. But, like, typically I'm not going to... Like, Gilded Goose is fine, but I think Thief of Sanity is, like, a game-winning card. Oh, Bayou. That's pretty good. I think we're definitely taking Bayou here. Also, Rex Sage didn't table. Still hoping for a Tinker, but I'm okay if we don't hit it. I don't think we're a Eureka deck, unfortunately. I got excited for a second, and I was like, mm. and then I was like, mm. I'll take a Crow's Downfall. Ooh, what's this? This is a giant. <laughs> I mean, you could take Phantasmal Image, which is an illusion, just like Riffling Cloud Skate. Dryad, human, and elemental, god. Thought I had another human in the deck, but I guess not. I mean, we're just taking Grave, Grave, uh, Grave Titan. Fallen Shinobi. <laughs> yeah, this is a Fallen Shinobi deck for sure. Thieving Skydiver? Man, this deck is like just the hits. All we need is an Ancestral or Time Walk, and this deck is killing it. I'm secretly drafting by myself? What does that mean? Natural order. Oh boy, natty order is pretty... Also, the Cynic Signet didn't come back either. I do like Gargaroth. Do we have any other beasts? I don't think so. I don't think we're a natural order deck. What can we get in Whisperwood or... That's it. We have like three green creatures. I don't think it's Basalt. We already have a reanimate spell. We don't have a ton of removal. I'm going to take get Elder Gargoth here. Plow Under came back? I think that's probably better than Whisperwood here. This could be our 23. Oh, actually, we can take Blightsteel out. I'm really hoping that Devoted Druid comes back. Some, oh, wow, Nissa? That's a late Nissa. Yeah, our tribal deck's not great, but I, I mean, like, let's be honest, unless you're drafting mono green, I mean, this just won't be that stiff. Like, that's all it comes down to. I kind of like, I kind of like Omnath, especially because we have Savannah. Oh, we don't have red, though. That's not very good. Yeah, we'll just take Carnage Tyrant, actually.
I mean, we can also just play like we can also play Nissa. Oh, actually, yeah, we can play Nissa. We can play Stone Cold Serpent. As far as ramp goes, we have Search Noble Mox, and we have other Mox in the sideboard. And our fixing looks real good. Yeah, I'll take Eureka. What the hell? I had you on mute. Was I just on a bit? Oh my god, last pick Courser? Okay, that's pretty good. That's what we needed. How is this a centaur and not like a centaur like druid or something? Yeah, that was a... <laughs> How much do I have to donate to get you to shoot for the moon? I don't know. You keep asking me. God. God. Yarg. I never play Mox Diamond as as a land. Also, we're playing casualties, I guess. That's kind of cool. Just give me a serious answer. Play every card I draft. I mean, the, the cube goes away tomorrow, though, so that's the problem. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we can go down to ten here. We'll see. Three black, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is eleven sources of green. Hoverboards don't work on water unless you have power. Three. Okay, hold on. Cancel again. Hold on. Uh, all three colors. All three colors, all three colors. Okay. So black, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Cut one of these, I'll add one more black source. Sixteen lands again? Wait, what am I missing? Oh, sixteen lands in a box. I was like, wait, what why how? Okay. Let's let's do it. Something wasn't right. All right. I mean, this deck looks good. I'm going to get a drink. Buddy, I could use a drink too. This hand could use a f one more land because then we can go turn one. I guess just Riffling. I'm still keeping it though. We have Noble Hierarch. We have... I mean, if we hit a land, we get to go turn two Oko, so that's pretty good. I do worry they're going to kill this guy, but then we get to go Riffling, so... We're really hoping for Runner Runner when it comes to lands here. Cool. You got it. Take the plow under, huh? Okie dokie. The rich get richer. The rich get richer. You can make a creature with with and three abilities creatures have had in magic history. You can make a creature. Oh, I think the and was un un unintentional, right? So God. Talk about having it all. Well, we definitely want a second black, so I think it's just Bayou here. Kill it. If it bleeds, we can kill it. You can make a creature with any three abilities creatures have had in magic history. Are you talking about, like, so would, like, whenever this attacks make two, two, two zombies? Is that an ability? 
Or are we just talking about like evergreen, like flying, haste, what have you? I mean, that's a very tough question. <laughs> There's been like a million abilities. I would definitely have to think about that one. This guy just coming down? Oh yeah, we're doing it. Coming down, down, down. Magic moves going down, swinging. I'm gonna bounce in on biscuits. Oh no, a braid, that's fine. Cast this guy. I think we just get another island here. That seems fine. Gaunty. Hair today. Gaunty tomorrow. Hmm. Well. We just go to five with this guy and draw a card. That actually seems pretty good. Create a food token. Oh, she has the six, actually. <laughs> That's actually better. Um, one, two, three black. Yeah, we'll just play Overgrown Tomb here. Howling Mine. Let's see what's happening right now. Field of Ruin, okay. That's fine. That's significantly better than I expected it to be. Going for Vraska, huh? Okay. So we just get to play Grave Titan here. That's even better. Um... Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Oko, thief of hot dogs. Y'all got any hot dogs? <laughs> you know. Maybe. Let's sack one Zombo. This is actually a pretty good engine. Cast this. Discard you. Make you an elk. That seems good, right? Mox Diamond is green. The blue mage needs food. They have one card in hand? Oh, I like that. Is Gaunt in your cube? You tell me. <laughs> the answer is yes. The answer is that he is in, in the cube. Right behind Glint, Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Okay, that was that worked out well. I might take out Casualties of War and bring like Carnage Tyrant here. Is plow I, I think well, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. We only have six forests, which makes Nissa not as good. I do like Nissa in general, but six forests is not it's not a ton. So Is my volume low? How low is my volume? I just looked at it and it looks like it's not super high, but 
Maybe I'm going crazy. No one said anything, though. Is Jeff Hoagland the guy with the dummies? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I actually don't know that guy's name. Like, they just didn't look like they had a ton of targets for this. So I kind of just rather have, like, 6-6, six, six, dude. Okay, as long as you guys are fine with it. That's the important part. Uh, snap keep. Can you guys hear Hunter? He's so loud. Divining top. I'm wearing headphones. Cool guys wearing headphones. What we really want is two lands. Or a land and a mox. You know. Basically. Basically the same. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but we'll play this thing and uh, hope that we can do some damage. We, we won't be able to. <laughs> yeah, this is why we don't include Mox Diamond as a land. Like, if you have a hard enough time drawing lands, it's only good when you have more lands. Collective Brutality. What did they... Sure. So the Collective Brutality does to hit nothing? And then they little out triumph to kill a null nully boy? That's not... Huh. Land? Mox? I'll take a Mox. I'm not even picky. It's just not a Chrome... Not Just not a Mox Diamond. All right, well. So we just get to bounce the Dark Confidant? Okay. That seems fine. Land. Just give me the stupid land. Jesus. Free me. Oh no. If they kill this, we just copy this instead. Either one's fine. You got it. Still have a target. Superfits, check eBay too. Have you checked eBay for, for laser disc players? I can offer advice on this super niche thing. Well, all right. Now we're talking. Oh, they can't make a rat now, so if we hit a land, we can just... Fuck! Come on, dude. 16 lands, mox, mox, diamond. 
multiple little mana shits. I mean, I, I guess we have a rat now, so that's cool. Oh, a swamp? Wow. What's a DVD? <laughs> Sounds weird. Let's get rid of plow under. So if we block, they just make two rats. That doesn't seem great. I don't even know what turn we're going into. Like turn seven. <laughs> Turn eight? Didn't do anything, huh? Okay. Oh boy, turn seven. Nailed it. So we can make a rat, which makes both of these three threes. But unless they want to block with... I guess we can eat two rats here for... Gonna make a rat. Okay, that sounds good. Little ratty boys. I think, did they see Fallen Shinobi? I don't know. Let's see what I revealed. Uh, they, they, they did see it. Okay. Are they just going to block with Dark Confidant? No. Oh, they're not blocking the Metamorph? Oh, that's great. Yeah, this has got to be better than just trading with a stupid rat. They knew I had this. You got it. Oh, they're not making another rat. That's actually good for us. It's nice to be here with you guys. Earlier today, I had to try and convince someone that inciting insurrection is, in fact, illegal. They didn't believe me. It was exasperating. But having hanging out with Frank Hewitt is much need to rely. Dude, Jake, I know that fucking feeling, dude. Oh, good. We hit two lands, and we've already played a land this turn. That's nice. That's really what we're... Oh, they just gave me two lands because of the, the Sensei's Divining Top. Yeah, that's good. That's good. What are you going to do? Jake, I agree with you completely. Uh, I, I have been actually incredibly stressed. And I had like a little outburst tonight. I was like, something just got me really angry. And I was just like, fuck, why did I get so mad at this? And I think it's because I have like a lot of pent up stress from like politics and like the situation in the US and like everything else. Like it's just, I've just been really stressed. But like it's not on the surface. It's just like all this like background stress in my head that's kind of like slowly building and i'm not even realizing it and i'm just kind of like i feel like i'm like super anxious about the next two weeks i'm like super concerned with for people's fucking lives i'm like it's just been really stressful and i don't know like Uh, yeah, this hand seems great. Turn to Jace.
politics is bad for your mental and and, phys and physical health i agree but um no i was gonna take two but then i'm like i'll just play off noble hierarch or i'll just play noble hierarch off of the emerald it's wow this is a great hand for uh you should watch some me okay that's a good idea Turn one lotus. Oh my god. Do we just get to do we just get to Vraska their lotus? That's pretty hilarious. This is why you don't play it unless you're gonna use it. That's <laughs> so good. So good. Oh boy. Okay, so Trump's gone. Uh yeah, okay. That's I understand. I guess they were gonna use it. <laughs> That is unfortunate now. Trump's gone. Dems have two to three branches of government. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, that's all great news. But, I mean, it's also very worth noting that, like, that doesn't mean things are over or calm or, you know, anything anything of the sort. Okay, we're actually not going to crack that because they have an opposition agent on the board. So next time we're going to draw Garrick, kill the opposition agent. <sighs> Jesus. Yep. Wow, this is going surprisingly well for them, even though we had a fantastic turn one. Doesn't help to copy this guy. G -g -g Gary. I mean, I almost want to just make a guy to. I, I also kind of want to just kill the Dark Confidant. All of these cards are good. What did they hit? Top? Sure. I think we have to kill this guy like it just means we don't get to search and like we're one land away from like a frost titan which is pretty good if we kill the dark confidant they just get it back next turn or they they just get to kill garrick next turn rather you want me to send you some clumping <laughs> for reference this is a joke and i do not advocate unauthorized distribution of controlled substances appreciate it buddy i appreciate the uh it's when i when i was taking it it was called clonazepam because it was the generic version i guess i don't know which is the generic version actually <sighs> fucking amazing wow they're doing very good for themselves i got really excited with my vraska into kill your black lotus and then they actually used it that was cool well we definitely want a second blue here because we don't want to be unable to cast jace next turn okay so they've had removal for literally everything we've played so far i'm just gonna copy your dark confidant Oh, no. Watch, it's going to be Grave Titan. <laughs> Okie dokie. We're having a good time. Oh, it's going to be Grave Titan. And then it was a Grave Titan. Oh, wow. actually incredible i mean they just make rat rat what do we do here <sighs> this is just phenomenal i'm like i can't have any words yeah, bounce the rat it's just gonna be a grave titan and then it was a grave titan 
this game's over. It's unfortunate. Not sure how we lost this match. Our deck seems very, very good. So we take four and go to one. Oh, we take two, go to three. Thank you. Oh, super friends with a gifted sub to Frank knows everything. Uh, which is the token? This one? All right, kill it forever. Superfish, you've gifted 262 subs? That's insane. Oh my god, dude. I really can't understand how we lost after that start. Like, I know I just watched... Yeah, I know. It's definitely... I definitely feel the same way. Okay, cool. You're going to make me discard my two cards. Yep, that's going to be the end. Okie dokie. That was fun. I mean, even if we played Jace, like, we would probably Jace for zero put two cards back they crack lotus get a three two and then kill our jace so that didn't really make a difference and they seem to have uh all of the removal they needed bone shredder colagon's command anger ass rampage so and one of the lands we hit off of courser was of course a fetch land so that we literally had to kill the opposition agent before we cracked it so and our first card hit off of off of Dark Confidant was not a land, which we have probably had like four lands now, like thirteen of in the deck. It was a six drop. Of which we have a mulligan. Do we, do, do we put the we put a fucking lands in the deck, right? Like I feel like we put enough lands in the deck, right? Sixteen lands and a mox? No, yeah, sixteen lands mox emerald. I don't know. <laughs> feels like feels like something's going on here. I make that many subs in a week. <laughs> in less than a week. Don't worry about it. I was really afraid they were going to go like... Kill this. Okay, see? This is when it's bad. The problem with Mox Diamond, again, is when you have... W exactly one land to pitch to it. Because if I had two lands, I can go land Mox Diamond next turn. But Okay. Well... Some people have it. Rampaging Ferocidon. Sulfuric Vortex. Well, we have a for, we have a Vraska for that at least. Okay, that was a that was a reasonable thing to hit here. I'm just gonna play Corsair. It blocks well. It's hard for them to kill, and we know we're not drawing land. So, look, I got the uh, the Sultai Trifecta in hand: Thief of Sanity, Oko, and Vraska. Three great, great tastes that taste great together. Wow, really? They have one card in hand. I mean, it has to be a three damage burn spell. There's no way they bluff this, right? If they use the Kill Courser, we know we're hitting this, where I really want to hit a land. I think Courser gets us back in this game more than... Plus, we don't actually even get these off the board. Like, I want to play Vraska and kill the Vortex. That's what we're looking for. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Eh, Verdant Catacombs. We can't gain life there. Uh, 
Yeah, all right. So we're drawing catacombs next turn, which means we can get a bayou. And again, if there's another land on top, okay. Plus we get this guy. I think we're actually okay here, unless they can actually kill us this turn or put us to nine, or deal us nine rather. <laughs> okay, must be nice. Well, they can deal us four, I guess. Okay. Thank you. What are we bouncing here? Um, bounce this guy because the other one has haste. Let's get our verdant. I think it's actually safer to just play Mox Diamond here. It doesn't actually cost us life, which is a big deal. Super Frids, a gift and a sub to buy you a drink. <laughs> God, they were like, why are these? Let's cast this, discard you, black, two, three, four. This lady, destroy this thing. Um, make this an elk. And now we should be a little bit more stable. So we know they have that guy and some number of other cards that we do not know about. Okay, Skull Clamp, fine. I accept, equip your Monastery Swifty Spear. Hmm. Do I give them two cards? I think so. I feel like that's better than than going to th going to two here. Okay. Okay. So All of our stuff gets a little bit of incremental life here, which is kind of nice. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. I'm going to sack an island here. Noble Hierarch. Sure. Create a food token. Eat that food token. I'm just going to pass here. We might just crack food for life. Uh, sure. I feel like you get Thief of Sanity here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That is fascinating. Hmm. I kind of just want to make this a food because I really don't want them drawing cards. I mean, I'm also just going to trade with this guy if they want to trade. Oh boy. Rabble Master for free. Dire Fleet Daredevil for free. Exile your char. I can't cast it though. I think that's fine. Make this an elk. Also, Rabble Master Vraska is a pretty sweet combo as well. I'm just going to say no there. Okay, that's pretty good. Feeling okay with that. So 
we're at nine, they're at seven, they have four cards. We have no cards, but our board is significantly stronger, especially with an Oko on ten. Glorybringer could be a problem. Actually, not really. Like, they deal four to this and kill something, but then, like, we get to Oko. It sounds like, Jesus. I mean, just being able to put two more blockers on the board is very, very good. Banefire for four. Hitting Shinobi. Yeah, that's actually fine. Shinobi's damage is done, and getting a Banefire out of your hand is very good for us. This is an easy double block. Sure. Trade Rabble Master for Soul Scar Mage. Oko goes to seven. Yeah, that's not great. Search for tomorrow. Unexciting. Well, might as well search, I guess. Get a second black. Sack this green. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Copy the flame tongue. Kill your this guy. And. Well, now we can just make a food here. Seems good. So we still have one, two, three, four, we have still have six mana. Well, they have six mana now, so I feel like Inferno Titan is coming down. Yeah. <laughs> Eh, it still doesn't do anything when we get to Oko it. So it's like, I mean, I guess they can kill these two. Yeah, that's pretty good. But now they're just dealing four instead of... Yeah, that doesn't... <sighs> okay, so one... Destroy a non-land permanent. Oh, that's not bad. So now we can go make you a 3-3, three, three. Gary, land, uh, no, we still have mana to sack the food if we want to. We get to ultimate Vraska next turn, that's pretty wild. What is he going to end up with whenever a creature does combat damage to a player, they lose the game? All right. Still holding on. Firebolt is kind of obnoxious, but it doesn't... I guess it kills the wolf. That's pretty unfortunate. Which then kills Garrick. Yep. I feel like we're losing... <laughs> we're losing out here to their good hits, which is kind of unfortunate. Garrick, sure. And then both the other guys at Oko, right? And then I get to choose. Vraska? Vraska. Okay. I might actually just block the Inferno Titan then, because Vraska is still going to survive. Yeah, we're just blocking Inferno Titan here.
So if I just get to untap with all three of my planeswalkers, that's pretty cool. Sure, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Okay, that's a thing. This is an artifact? No. It doesn't turn them into artifacts, right? I get to steal their mocks. Um kill this guy. So we're gonna go cast the kicker. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Target creature becomes an elk. This thing. And we'll sack an island. Play this. That seems good. That was a reasonable turn. Hey there, just really played you a few minutes ago and figured I'd stop in. Well, good games. I mean, that's their turn, I guess. Okay, Gary, Gary, Vraski. So we're just going to block here because Gary's dead either way. Can't save Gary, can save Vraski. I think I have a Grave Titan in my deck or a Frost Titan somewhere. Something like that. Baleful Strix is a solid start. Okay. Blue, green. Baleful boy. Okay. Okay. Just making sure... One, two, three, four. We only have five mana right now. I really don't want to... I'm just going to plus and say no. And now I think we're in really solid shape here. Oh, man. I will not pay double red because I only have single red, unfortunately. That was a good draw. Nope. Alright. No cards in hand. I have two Planeswalkers, you have one card. <laughs> That's a good one. Not good enough, though. I just get to kill it, which is pretty bananas. Yeah, that's going to be the game. <laughs> Your move, my dude. <laughs> Elder Gargroth, go. <laughs> game two. Okay. Sounds good. What do we have in here that's very good against them? Pelucranos is probably better than, like, Jace. Um, Primal Command is better than Plow Under. Uh, Fallen Shinobi almost seems too cute. I like Whisperwood because it makes a bunch of dudes. Casualties is probably worse than Biogenic Ooze. That's probably better. Yeah, this is good. I wish we had a blue black. But I guess I guess Wooded Foothills couldn't get that anyway. <laughs> so we're definitely getting a blue here. Probably a breeding pool. Okay, that's pretty good. Do we cut Fallen Shinobi? I think so, yeah, because we just don't have a ton of ways. Like, the cards we hit from them are probably not going to be super great. Skull Clamp. 
and equip, I bet. So? <laughs> oh, breeding pool. No. And now we'll just probably play Baleful Strix here. And next turn we can steal their Skull Clamp. Okay. Well, that's good. Then we can Oko into this. And this is our this is our curve right here. They can kill this guy. Wow, they're f charring that guy. Huh? Okay. Oh, but it equips and we get to draw two? Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow. I was actually like, oh no, it equips. But then I was like, oh wait. <laughs> That's pretty good. I never remember the equip part because I really forget that it's like, it, um, Basically because I never uh, do it to equipments. Right, it never comes up exactly. Well, that's pretty good. We can still nuke it with a. Uh... It's funny because we can still nuke it with Oko. <sighs> Grave Titan next turn should be good for us. I mean, if they kill this and kill Oko, it's kind of okay, I guess. Yep. I mean, we know they have a spell here, right? They kind of have to. Oh, you're going face with this. Oh, no, you're not. That was an accident. Okay. Well, we're definitely chump blocking make you have a, if you had actually Oko going to one is pretty nuts here i guess you don't have a spell so now we just get to go grave titan mm, that seems hard to deal with oh and we get this free land that's kind of cool i love free lands um let's just get another swamp So they can go one, two, three. They can't do much to this guy. If they want to make it a four, four, that's fine. I'll just make a food token here. I have blockers for days. Four, one, two, three. So we can Pelucranos next turn, but we can't shoot anything. Yep, that's fine. Oh, that's good. That will be chump blocked. Okay, so just these three. Uh, okay, block you, block you, block you. All at Oko, huh? Sure. One, two, three, four, one, two. So we can actually shoot this for two. Okay. One, two, three, four, world eater. 
two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Shoot you. Uh, make you nothing. Attack with you. All right. Seems good. Hazard does just become an elk, yes. Now we have a 7-7, seven, seven, a 6-6, six, six, two, two twos, and you cannot actually kill Oko here. Okay. Okay, that's going to be the end. Take your mono red trash and get out of here. What was our first deck? What did we play? We played like the the token deck, right? What was like the most relevant card in that matchup? Let's do Felidar Retreat. I don't know if it's the most relevant, but it's a unique one. All right, let's do it. I think you navigated that game real well in case no one has told you that you're pretty... I'm okay. I'm all right. Jake, I'm sorry we didn't have more tribal synergies. If I can find more, I'll keep... I'm going to keep... The... Oh, this is actually... This is a hand. If we... Um, I'll keep this tip in the queue in case we can find a more, more tribal-esque deck in the future. If they play a Mox, we can go turn two Thieving Skydiver and steal it. Or a Soul Ring. Oh, my God. They didn't have. They didn't have those things. How about a Mox Emerald? Mox Diamond. Ancestral Recall in my upkeep. Because dudes love doing that. That's like the... Uh, that's like from the... I saw a Pro Bo Do It playbook. Okay. That's not... Also not super impressive. Well, that's unfortunate. So long. Moxie, baby. Oh, you didn't take the mox. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, Casualties of War next turn seems okay if we hit a land. Even if we're just killing creature land, it's pretty good because we're pretty far ahead. Are you playing D&D, &D, Super Fritz? It's like 3 in the morning. I feel like I would not be on my best D&D &D game if it was 3 in the morning. Okay. That is a land. And we'll play this Mox. We're just going to kill an artifact and a creature. Or not, a land and a creature. I think we're killing this and this. I don't want to work. I just want to kill all your things all day. I mean, killing Thief and Dark Slick Shore seems pretty good. Oh my god, if it was a Brain Maggot. You got, you're out of your mind. That seems ridiculous. Oh, 
Oh, got my own thief of sanity. I mean, I don't think the two one skydiver is actually worth playing when it could just possibly keep them off of an artifact or steal an artifact later in the game. I mean, I kind of just treat it like a control magic for artifacts. It's like Sower of Temptation. I'm not just going to run a Sower out there as a 2-2, two -two, so. All right. Well, they get to flip Jace and time walk again. So this is pretty good. We were we were during your first draft. I have managed to use my mod cred to get your Discord to play games with me. Excellent. Hey guys, I'm gonna I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Frank's mods. Can uh, you guys want to play some Dungeons and Dragons with me? Oh, they discarded a Vindicate, but no white sources. I don't want to work. I just want to bang on the drum all day. Oh, wow. They targeted Time Walk? That's wild. I did not expect that. Also, Jace versus Steve of Sanity. Pretty good. Pretty good. I want to attack the darkness. Where's the Mountain Dew? Yep, that seems good. Grave Titan, Frost Titan, Elder Gargaroth. These are a few of the cards in my deck. That's a good dude. Not sure we can deal with that. I think this game might be over, unfortunately. Do we have any way to deal with that guy? Sour of Temptation is where this is really shine right now. Oh. Oh no, but they have a... Do you think it's gonna resolve? Let's find out. <laughs> okay. Maybe they don't have any islands left, that'd be cool. Oh, they did, okay. Well, Elko would be a good one. Yeah, all right, seems good. It's, yeah, cool. It's, uh, it's real, real cool. They did a cool. I feel like our deck has really good cards and we're not just we're just not drawing them and I'm really kind of like Let's take Skydiver out and I'm bringing Stone Coil. Actually, let's bring a Carnage Tyrant. I feel like we should have a reasonable way to get to six. We're just having this weird situation where like we're drawing either ramp cards or fucking six mana spells and we're not able to play both actually I don't think casualties is as good as something like maybe just a palucranos no I'll bring in stone coil 
Okay. I don't know if it's submitted or not. Let's find out. Nope. Too late. Keep. Okay, so next time we can play Courser and still hit a land, which is kind of cool. Okay, I like it. So let's get a second blue source. Cast. This should be turn three, right? Okay. They kept both cards with the preordain. Seems good. We do have a... Okay, now you got a white source on the top. So we can just kill this guy? Okay. Sure. So you're drawing a planes. We get to play Grave Titan and they just use the Phantasmal image. That's got to be good enough, right? <sighs> you got to be fucking kidding me. Love it. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> well, you got one spell that you plan on casting next turn? All right, I'll take it. Sounds good. It's really weird when you get like the... This deck seems great. We have Jace, Oko, we have a Mox, we have Vraska, which goes really well. Grave Titan. It's really weird when you get decks that look like this and then you're just like, oh. One, two, I guess. Oh, well that's kind of cool. Still only a... Uh, uh, you and your white source, I think. Oh, what up, Dans? Oh, what up, Elk Tears? Cool. Spell Pierce. Fuck me, I guess, right? That would be amazing if you didn't have the exact response. Oh, perfect answer. Oh, perfect answer. Oh, perfect answer. Wow. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Popcorn's so small that I don't actually even know how you dip it in, in hot sauce. It's like... It's just too tiny, and it's not something you can grab by, like, the handful and kind of, like, dip the clump in pop in, in hot sauce, because that doesn't really make sense. It's a very interesting... One by one. It's a slow process. Oh, my God. I get fucking punished because I didn't play the land. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. I'm fucking beside myself right now. This is wild, dude. Oh, God. Can we get a top deck Vraska one time where they don't have a counterspell? Probably not. Whatever. Play around Snapcaster Miscalculate. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you're just going to kill this. Because fucking of course you are. Why wouldn't you? Amazing. 
absolutely incredible. I mean, this isn't going to resolve either. Like, I don't know what your deck is, but it's really weird. Um, probably just keeping Godless Shrine tapped down. What up, Mindstab Thrill? Happy New Year, buddy. Here comes, here comes removal spell. I mean, I'm not like under any impression this dude is going to live. There's that planes we knew about 20 turns ago. Sure. Don't know what this could be. They might just want a him to Torak us or mind twist this. Sure. And then damnation. Okay. I mean, they have one card now, so we're basically both playing off the top. Unfortunately, that is not a great top deck. I mean, it's unbelievable they have fucking Toxic Delusion Thought Seize as their two cards. Like, it's just... It is it is what it is. I mean, maybe this Vraska actually gets some work done. I don't know. I guess we're gonna... I mean, we've got two cards a turn coming up, so... Oh, boy. Yep, yeah, that's fucking amazing. I also have this card in my deck. You wouldn't know it, but I, I do have it in my deck. I don't think I've drawn it yet. Maybe I sideboarded it out. The problem with you and your opponent top decking is that they always have luck. Yeah, well, that's how you do it. That is how you do it. Cool. Yep. Cool. That's great. Oh yeah, Dryad? That's gonna do it. That's gonna fucking do it. So they can actually get our Frost Titan back and tap it down. Cool, this has been a fun match of absolute fucking bullshit. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you next time. Cool.